All right, how's everybody doing? This is Kai Goddard with Track Record, and we wanted to thank each and every one of you for joining us at our Track Record private track event at Chuck Walla, which is coming up in a few weeks. We're gonna do a little track overview for you so that everyone has a, a brief idea of what's um, to be expected with the track as we head into this exciting few days. So we're gonna run the track counterclockwise on the first day, and on the second day, we're gonna run it clockwise. This track's a lot of fun, we love it. Um, for many reasons, it's got a really, really cool bank turn, which we'll get into here in a little bit. It's a track that's also recently, within the past four or five months or so, somewhere around there, but it's also been repaved. So we're going to get it um, in pristine condition, which I'm really looking forward to. So if you look at this video here, this is a lap that Steve Kimpton drove. Um, uh, this would have been towards the end of last year when we went out. It was a pretty chilly weekend. I remember it being pretty dusty. But uh, we had a lot of fun that weekend, so this is going to be a quick little overview of a lap in counterclockwise direction. And we're just going to highlight and talk about a few things right here. One thing that um, I did want to point out briefly was in the morning when we were there last time, both days, there was a lot of um, dust that accumulated on the track throughout the night. And it was one thing that we had figured out that the track is really, really, really slick due to cold temperatures, but also due to dust. For the first session or so, the first few hours in the morning, and it had caught a lot of people out. And I'm, we are not entirely sure if they're going to be blowing off the track or cleaning it in the morning. But just wanted everyone to know, just be aware of it. That, and we'll talk about it at the driver's meetings, that it's pretty slick first thing in the morning. So here we go. We're heading into the last turn here with Steve. And it's a pretty fast left-hander with a kink to the right. And as I pause right here, just follow the arrow that's going back and forth. This is leading on to ideally the longest straight here. Chuck Walla has a lot of flowing but pretty fast turns that are third and fourth gear turns. This really might be the longest straight. But as you follow this arrow right here, the one thing we want to highlight in both counterclockwise and in clockwise direction is the pit in and this wall right here and this tire barrier um, we just want everyone to be aware of that one of the most common incidents at this track is where people lose it here there's all this acreage just tons of real estate to the left but to the right you do have the pit lane wall here and most people tend to find it so just wanted everyone to be hyper aware and sensitive to that so here we are, we're heading onto the, um, onto the main straightaway here. And what I love about this track, there's a really fast entry to the right and then you're on the brake, so you're coming in at an angle, trying to find a straight line braking zone. Um, and then it tightens up to the left and now we're gonna go almost what feels like 180 degrees to the left here. Up on the curve, down a gear, and it's gonna tighten up to the left. A Little bit of a late apex. And here's where you really start to see a nice pass coming up, how wide and flowing these corners are as we lead into them. So now we're going to come up to a right-hander, which is a third gear corner in most cars. One other thing I'm personally looking forward to, I remember when I was there that there were times, um, maybe when it was a little bit dusty or with the sun in a certain place, with all this dirt over here and desert landscape, there were times where it almost has the same color or look and feel um, of the track itself. If you look at Chuck Walla now and it's new repave, the track is nice dark black asphalt, which is gonna make it easier to pick up the track in certain areas because it is pretty flat in some places. And then around the back section right over here, there's some elevation out here. So now we're coming into another third gear right-hander using the whole track up all the way over to the left side, back over to the right side. And this is why, personally, we all love Chuck Walla. This sets us up into this bank turn, kind of like the Nürburgring, um, or what some short tracks are, or stock car tracks in the country. So the line we were taking, that I was taking uh, into this corner is really, really high up top, with a bit of a late apex. So you're up high, and then you start pulling it down to the middle, and you can even tell here with Steve's hands, he's just fighting it and working it and trying to play that game, that find that line or evaluate that dance between additional grip due to banking 
and you know how much throttle you can give there's so many times i've been through here where you, in the back of your head you know you could have gone a little bit quicker a little bit quicker um, if anything ever happens here if you spin the best thing to do is just look down to the left so you spin to the inside if you try and catch it and or if your hands are too slow or if anything kind of um, serious happens because of it's a bank turn you could <laughs> you could launch yourself over the top it is flat up top there but it would kind of spit you over the top kind of like you know the top of a bathtub so keep it low keep your eyes focused and just keep looking where this arrow is the whole way through here and you're absolutely going to love this corner so you can see steve's nice and tight down to the apex and you're going to let it track again out all the way to the right side right about here and now we're going to get into some blind um, s's if you will but i remember going back all the way over to the left sometimes down to second gear and um, this is all about muscle memory take your time with this one it's going to take a few laps to really get yourself sorted out chuck walla were really good about putting out cones so right about here it's a super late apex what i was always doing is there's some curbing up on the top here on the right you're going to want to use that as an apex and as a turn in to get you through the left hander which now puts you on a straight that goes downhill so let's watch right here if you look right about here the end of the curbing right here sometimes there's a cone sometimes there isn't but as soon as that colored curbing disappears that's where i was aiming for quite frankly as an apex and as a turn in so it sort of had two jobs for me and then come flying and bounce over the curb on the left side grab a gear now we're onto what I would believe is the second longest straight and it's downhill as you can see right here and you're coming in pretty quick S super late apex again late apex late apex and right here again you can't see where you're going so in some cars you're in third gear right here but what catches a lot of people out is I'd say three things Number one, you can't see where you're going. Number two, there is a right hander over there that falls away in elevation. And number three, it tightens up on you. This is the easiest place on this track to throw it away. It's the slowest corner and it's the place in many cases where there's the most time to be made up. So remember that one it gets really tight. You want to stay to the right, to the right. Take a pause, you can see Steve right there. He turned, paused, and then go left. And then from here, in most cars, it was wide open, flat out. He just grabbing gears, pulling gears. And now we're coming into um, another fun corner. This one's really fast and it's a double, the way I looked at it, it was a double apex, 180 degree long corner. It is really quick, third gear stuff. Um, so there you're turning in, here's apex one, all the way out, and here comes your second apex. Sorry, it's a little bit jumpy here. And this one's up to you, depends on the car and your, your momentum and where you're at, your amount of horsepower and torque. You can track out all the way to the right or down to the middle. But now we're setting up for a similar corner that is a double apex, basically, to the right, almost another 180 degrees. So here's one all the way out and here it kind of tightens up on you and you're going to use the whole track from your apex all the way over to the left side onto another shortish straight all the way over to the right but Steve's setting up for a pass right here 90 degree to the left all the way out to the right and this brings us back to where we started. And an interesting thing here, this series of corners is a mirror image of the turn one and two that we went into at the beginning of this video. And again, we can't say it enough, keep your eyes really elevated up here, remain disciplined, and just know that there is a trouble area here. Every track in the world has it, but this one right here, you're just gonna really wanna watch that pit lane wall. There you go. Nice job, Steve. He did really well that weekend. That was um, his first time at this track. So 
That's Chuck Walla counterclockwise. So now that we've discussed this counterclockwise lap, we're gonna let the lap play now on its own in its entirety. So pull those belts tight, hang on, have fun.